What's up guys? Welcome back to another video in the woods. Winter season's here. In this video, I want to talk about Casper. Uh, being the next Bitcoin, I see there's a lot of uh, talk about Casper lately. I get these comments all the time. Uh, Casper is the next Bitcoin. It's going to be the best crypto ever. Uh, and a ton of like weird comments too. But I wanted to make a video and be the first one to tell you if you haven't heard this yet that caspa is not the next bitcoin i feel like the majority of comments i get people think because i'm, I'm bullish on caspa or because i said it's my best investment uh opportunity for me that i'm gonna all of a sudden agree with them that's not true at all okay first of all caspa is not going to a hundred plus dollars i've seen some comments like that and caspa is not being the next bitcoin or replacing bitcoin I even got someone who was shooting it down the other day saying Casper's bad because it'll never replace Bitcoin. And I'm like, well, yeah, it's never going to replace Bitcoin. That's not the intention of Casper. Bitcoin is a store of value digital gold. Casper is a layer one trying to be a store of value, but like digital silver, actual peer to peer cash. Think of Casper as silver and Bitcoin as gold. The intention of Caspa is not to replace Bitcoin, it's to work upon what Bitcoin failed to be initially with better tech. And for those who don't know, for those who are maybe coming to the space now and maybe haven't researched Bitcoin, Bitcoin, when it was the only crypto around, was initially peer-to-peer -peer cash. It was digital money. And then we found out later on that people didn't want to wait hours to send Bitcoin. I think the fastest transaction now is like 10 minutes, depending where you send it. But in other words, Bitcoin's slow. It's slow to send Bitcoin. You're not going to go to your Starbucks and wait online to spend Bitcoin as cash. You're just not going to do it. It's not feasible. Hence why blockchain came out, Ethereum, all these different cryptos saying they're fast and they can be digital cash. That's kind of the direction of Bitcoin wanted to be in, but Bitcoin couldn't do it. So Bitcoin ended up being a store of value, digital gold. And with the scarcity it has, 21 million total supply, the halving reducing the rewards for miners in half every single four years. The supply and demand is the perfect environment for Bitcoin to be in that store value conversation. Now, Caspa also has a halving. Caspa also has a fixed supply. Caspa is also decentralized and Caspa is also secure, like Bitcoin. So when I bring up Bitcoin in relation to Caspa, what I'm saying is Caspa fundamentally is identical to uh, to Bitcoin. It doesn't mean that Casper is Bitcoin or is Bitcoin 2.0. That's one of the misconceptions I've seen with Casper. I started to realize the majority of people who research crypto don't spend more than five minutes because the ones who are saying that uh, Casper is Bitcoin 2.0, they probably are either misguided by other influencers who maybe are saying this nonsense or they're just saying it because they know the majority of people who don't research will be like, oh my God, Bitcoin 2.0? No way. Let me jump in. So I get it. You know, some people will say these terms for Caspa or really any crypto. Hey guys, the next Bitcoin, the next Ethereum, just buy this because it's easy to sell, right? It's marketing. It's hype. It's FOMO. You know, I always tell you guys, we have a lot of manipulation in this market and people trying to sell you fallacies. And Casper uh, being Bitcoin 2.0 is a fallacy. I'm sorry, guys. It is not going to be $45,000. And it's not going to be $100, at least not in the foreseeable future. You probably clicked on this video, like, all excited, thinking, like, I was going to say, yes, yeah, the next Bitcoin. It's not. It is not. But in terms of fundamentals, it's proof of work. Bitcoin's proof of work. Ethereum used to be proof of work before they migrated to proof of stake. Um, with a proof of work consensus, you get true decentralization and security. There really is no proof of stake crypto that is truly decentralized and secure. I mean, Ethereum and Cardano are pretty secure, but they'll never be as secure as Bitcoin. Uh, Solana is very scalable. But it's not decentralized. It's not too secure, at least with volume. We'll see the cycle. So usually proof of stake cryptos sacrifice part of the trilemma, which is scalability, decentralization, and security. It's hard to have all three. Even proof of work. Proof of work cryptos usually don't have scalability, but they had decentralization and security. But when Casper was born as a block DAG by a founder who was in 
Ethereum's white paper, who designed the Ghost Dag protocol, who had a first hand in Ethereum's tech design, who I also hear is rumored to be an XRP's white paper. When he came up with a block DAG, which is what Casper is, Casper was the first block DAG ever created, he made a scalable proof of work crypto. What does that mean? The trilemma solver. I am very unbiased with my investments. Just because I'm holding a crypto does not mean when I get a weird comment or someone saying some outrageous claim, I'm going to be like, yeah, bro, I agree with you. Like, I'm not like that whatsoever. I'm very unemotional, unfazed when it comes to my crypto investing. You have to be. I mean, if you want to be a successful investor, you can't be married to your bags for one. And for two, you got to have a clear level head of thinking because if you start thinking like a moon boy or you start really falling for the hype that like hey guys this is the next bitcoin buy this or this is the next ethereum go all in guys that's where you fall for rug pulls for scams or for dumps because people will just try to do that to you they'll try to shake you out out of one of your positions saying your crypto is a scam or they'll say hey guys this brand new crypto just got launched five minutes ago it's the next bitcoin jump on in come on and get it before everybody else you know buys it and realizes it's also bitcoin and then they get rug pulled so it's very important to be experienced obviously this helps a lot when you can you know figure out what's an actual legit comparison to bitcoin or ethereum and what's just a, a marketing or hype tactic but that being said yeah i wanted to clear the air here with caspa because i still see those comments and i'm like if you go on Caspa's website, you'll find out in the first five minutes that it's not Bitcoin 2.0. They have it, you know, in competition with Bitcoin and Ethereum as like the next generation. Some say it's like Bitcoin and Ethereum had a baby. That's a closer comparison. It's similar to both. It's a layer one like Ethereum, but it pretty much ends there because it's different tech and proof of work. And it's fundamentally identical to Bitcoin, but it's not a store of value in the sense that Bitcoin uh, is. Like it's not digital gold. And back in the day when people were spending, you know, metals or currency, they weren't really spending gold. They were holding gold in case they needed to when they had to travel, but they were spending silver, you know, for everyday use because silver was more abundant and gold was very scarce. So when you look at it from that point of view, that's where Casper is trying to be in a digitized form. Bitcoin's digital gold and Casper's digital silver. They're both meant to be currencies, hence cryptocurrencies, which is why also Caspa is an actual asset and not a security. There's no team behind it. There's no private investors, no VCs backing it. So it is a true definition of a cryptocurrency, not a crypto company or a crypto you know, security. But that being said, think of Caspa as enhancing Bitcoin, as complementing Bitcoin. Think of it as like Ethereum was better tech and a, in my opinion, a better consensus. I think proof of work is superior to proof of stake. However, I do understand the drawbacks of proof of work until Caspa was born because Caspa has revolutionary tech, has a great founder behind it, and has all the fundamentals and makeup to be a monster in this bull cycle and in the foreseeable future. So I hope that helped clear the air for you guys. I didn't want to ramble too long, but yeah, Super Bowl, Sun Caspa, but you'll never see me say, hey guys, come get the Bitcoin 2.0. And by the way, if you want to reach out to me, talk to me, see your crypto on buying, sell, and trading next. If you want to be part of voice chat hangouts where I do them every single Sunday night or live streams, I'm doing them every Friday morning with my members. If you want to be a part of this support group, of like-minded investors who also want to make massive profits, change their life, not be this lone wolf trying to figure it all out on yourself and be stressed out. If you want to be a part of this support group, then feel free to join the Patreon and Discord. I'll leave a link in the pinned comments down below. It would be awesome to see you there. Anyways, now I want to hear from you. Where do you see Caspa's relation with Bitcoin and Ethereum? And what do you like the most about Caspa? Drop your comment down below. And let me know if you enjoy this video please leave a like it really helps so much that being said i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video